forests of Papua New Guinea, there is said to be a population of creatures that attack humans, eat corpses from graves, and even attack villages. These creatures resemble pterodactyls and pterosaurs who allegedly went extinct over 65 million years ago. Even scientific teams and missionaries that visit the island have claimed to see these creatures. But what are they? Today, let's take a look at the creature that is known to locals as the Demon Flyer. The first mention of a large bird on the island was during the 1500s by explorers. In 1944, American fighter pilot Dwayne Hodgkinson was stationed at the Allied military base in Papua New Guinea when he saw a creature he would never forget. Dwayne said that he and his comrades were going up on a trail. It was a pretty heavily wooded area, but they did come to an area that was relatively clear. He was traveling through the jungle when he heard a loud startling sound. Then he saw a creature, which took off and it made a few steps down the trail and was airborne. The creature was so big and as its wings deflected, you could see all the brush down below just flattening out. Hodgkinson instantly recognized the creature in front of him. He said he was absolutely astonished at the time because he said it was clearly a pterodactyl. It had a long snout on it, a long appendage on the back of its head, and it had great big wings. Since the end of World War II, there have been more than a dozen known sightings of what local tribes have named the Demon Flyer, or the Ropen, and most sightings are pretty consistent in their descriptions. The creatures are said to have featherless, leathery skin and wingspans of over 30 feet. The beast is said to have a large crested head, which seems like a giant spike, and a long beak full of razor-sharp teeth. There are also some reports that describe it as having a glow, or bioluminescence, meaning it is able to emit its own light. The creature is said to be nocturnal, and there have been some people that have claimed to have seen up to seven of these creatures in the sky at once. Natives also believe the creature is a spirit that dwells in the mountains, and also eats the flesh of the dead by digging up newly deceased villagers' graves. In 1986, a man was said to have been killed by a creature near a former military base. The creature is said to have snatched the man up and flew 40 feet off the ground before the poor man was dropped either killing or incapacitating him. Then the creature picked him up and flew into a nearby tree and ate the man in front of his fellow villagers. Oddly enough, there was a sighting in 2009 by a student that claimed to have seen the demon flyer underwater gliding under his boat, seemingly hunting for fish. So what are people seeing in the skies over Papua New Guinea? The island has become known as the Lost World and the real life Jurassic Park due to some of the creatures that have been seen there. So what do you think villagers are seeing and how do you think we could capture the creature on film? Thanks for watching the video, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and have a great day everyone.